Hello everyone, you are watching Rich Addict. Today, we will be looking at the life of the mysterious homeless billionaire. Hit that like button and make sure you've subscribed to our channel and prepare to be amazed. Imagine for a second that you are a billionaire. You would probably own a few extravagant mansions around the globe. But surprisingly, that's not the case with the 59-year-old billionaire investor and philanthropist Nicholas Bergerin. With a net worth of $1.7 billion, the French billionaire could buy or rent any house he fancied. But 20 years ago, he decided to sell his luxurious apartment in Manhattan and his private island near Miami. He said he did not want to be weighed down by his physical possessions. This action earned him the infamous title of homeless billionaire. Now you might be wondering, why would a billionaire choose to be homeless? If he's homeless, then where does he live? Well, the answer is less exciting than you thought it would be. Instead of owning any property, he lives in luxurious hotels as he travels around the globe on his Gulfstream 4. In his 50s, the billionaire didn't own any property, car, or a watch. Instead, he traveled, staying in different hotels with only a small bag of clothes and his Blackberry, saying, I am not that attached to material things. And the good thing is, I can make choices. I have very few possessions. Luckily, as a man, you don't need much. A few papers, a couple of books, and a few shirts, jackets, sweaters. He also says, I have always spent a lot of time in hotels, so it started to seem more comfortable to do this. I feel happier. In an interview with Bloomberg, Bergerin said, I'm not that interested in material things. As long as I find a good bed that I can sleep in, that's enough. According to him, whatever I own is temporary, since we're only here for a short period of time. It's what we do and produce. It's our actions that will last forever. That's real value. But recently, the billionaire finally decided to settle down in West Hollywood. Although his decision shocked the world, he says that he decided to settle down because he has entered a new chapter of his life. There are mainly two forces at play which drove him to this decision. Firstly, having children in 2016, a daughter, Olympia, and a son, Alexander, from the same egg donor and two different surrogates. The second reason would be the establishment of the Bergerin Institute, which he describes as having two elements, the think tank element and the action tank element. He established this institution to address issues related to politics, economy, geopolitics, and technology. He immediately invested $100 million into the institute, with an additional investment of $500 a few years later. He may be homeless, but he is known for throwing out extravagant parties. He holds the annual Oscars party at the Chateau Marmont Hotel in Los Angeles. He can be occasionally seen in photos with famous Hollywood stars like Leonardo DiCaprio and Paris Hilton. Nicholas always had a privileged life. Early life. He was born in Paris to a Jewish family. His father, Heis Bergerin, was an art collector, and his mother, Bettina Moisey, was an actress. His father was considered one of the greatest art dealers of his time, having close ties to the Spanish artist Pablo Picasso. Since childhood, Nicholas had a keen interest in politics, which could be seen today. After attending elementary school in Paris, he moved to Switzerland to attend high school. In his teenage, he became interested in Marxism and also wrote a constitution for a utopian country. Looking at him now, we think his beliefs took a sharp turn. Due to his rebellious nature, he refused to learn English at the time because according to him, it was the language of imperialism. In 1978, he moved to London where he became fluent in English and started training for his future career in finance. And a year later, he moved to New York to study finance at the University of New York. After graduating in finance, he started working for the real estate firm Bass Brothers Enterprises in Philadelphia. After that, he moved back to New York and started investing with his trust fund worth $250,000. One of his most recent noteworthy investments is buying a whopping 29% stake in the infamous fast food chain Burger King. He later justified this purchase by saying that the fast food giant stood out as a unique global player with a strong heritage. Philanthropy In 2010, he joined the Giving Pledge, which is a campaign to encourage the super-rich of the community to contribute the majority of their wealth to the philanthropic causes. Along with this, he has been actively doing philanthropic actions through his charitable trust, the Nicholas Bergeron Charitable Trust. Books He published a total of two books. The first one, Intelligent Governance for the 21st Century, a middle way between West and East in 2012, in 2019, he published a second book, Renovating Democracy, Governing in the Age of Globalization and Digital Capitalism. And that's all for today's video. To stay updated with more luxurious content in the future, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button for more luxurious content. Don't forget to share your thoughts on the homeless billionaire.